How you doing? I'm Justin Waddle. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something very beautiful, very, very spectacular. It's the voice of the Lord through the numerical patterns of the Bible. Today we're going to go two, three, and we're going to do a new one, number 15. It's a double digit. Proverbs 12, 22 says, Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal truthfully are His delight. So therefore, I do not want to become a liar to y'all since I, I, I told y'all I would try to do some double di digits in the future. So today we're going to learn about twos, threes, and fifteens. Okay, guys? And so, so for instance, start in sequence, you go the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. You do not say the Son, the Father, the Holy Ghost. So twos come first in the Bible. Okay, so therefore, two in the Bible means division first, always in sequence, double for your trouble, guys. You can't have one without the other. You, you have to have division first, always in sequence, double for your trouble. So say, for instance, 2 Kings chapter 2, okay, division, double for your trouble. Elijah and Elijah, two men that sound the same, right? Just a little difference. It's called division. Well, in chapter 2, Elijah departs from Elijah, and he gives him double portions of his spirit. Okay, also Elijah, when he was trying to cross the river, he slapped a pole on the ground, and it went this way and that way. Okay, it went two different ways for division for him to get across. Okay, also he put salt in a bowl, and he cured the water. So that salt in a bowl, division, and he cured the water. Okay, guys? And then at the end of chapter 2, 42 youths, 9, 10, 11-year-old kids, they call him ball-headed twice. Okay? And Elijah, Elijah makes a curse on them. And two female bears come and slaughter 42 youths. Division, for sure. But it's double for Elijah's trouble. Because, see, what most people don't understand is the Hebrews know that your that your knowledge is in your beard. The longer your hair is, the longer the knowledge is. So when these kids call him ball-headed twice, ball-headed, right, they're saying he has no knowledge, no knowledge, meaning the true powers of the Holy Spirit doesn't uh, uh, dwell in his land, okay? But the truth of the matter is, Elijah just gave him double portions of his spirit, and he just created a huge miracle by putting salt in a bowl to heal the water of the land. <laughs> See, guys? And so these kids, the only unforgiven sin is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. And these children, they call him bald-headed twice by mocking his Holy Spirit. And boy, God does not play around with that. Okay? So three in the Bible means direction. Okay? Abraham saw where to sacrifice Isaac on the third day. Moses was hid for three months. Jonathan shot three arrows for David's direction. I know that we go over these same ones over and over a lot of times, uh, but it's just to plant the seed. And since I have so much good remembrance of them through the Holy Spirit's guidance, uh, those just come out naturally, okay, guys? But the truth of the matter is, uh, John, James, and Peter went to the mountain to see Elijah, Moses, and Jesus, uh, and they asked that they should build three tabernacles, okay? It's in every story. Two pass by the, the stranger, but the good Samaritan picks him up. Okay, so that's two for division, but the good Samaritan picks him up, right? Okay, but then you got Naomi and Ruth divided between their husbands, right? But Ruth got Boaz, which makes the third person. <laughs> See what I mean? It's in every living testimony, guys. The Holy Bible is so pure, so true, so tough. It, it, it never contradicts itself, guys. Never, never. So, for instance, seven in the Bible means completion. Now, most people think that seven means rest because God created the world in seven days and He rested on the seventh day. But that was just God being omnipotent. He, he doesn't have to rest, okay? In order for God to show you how to properly do something, He must allow you to see it first and, and show you the process of it. So, therefore, God had to rest on the seventh day to, to keep His holy day, a holy, holy Sabbath day, holy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for letting me fall short the glory of God. I love love you so much for your beautiful knowledge that pours out of me like living water so much that it makes me stutter now. I've never had a stutter in my lifetime, guys, until all this knowledge uh, cram-packed in there. It was so beautiful. Uh, and it's so funny <laughs> to me because I know the truth. But the truth of the matter is, everybody thinks seven in the Bible means, means uh, rest. Okay, God didn't have to rest, but He had to keep His, his Sabbath day holy. And so if God, who never has to rest, rested on the seventh day to keep his Sabbath day holy, then obviously he really wants us to do it too. No questions asked, okay? So remember to keep your Sabbath day holy, okay? On Saturday, that's the Sabbath. That's the real true Sabbath. We made a video about that. Go through my videos and you'll see the truth about what day the Sabbath is on, okay? Uh, Na Naaman got dipped in the Jordan seven times. 
uh, to completion of his uh, uh, leprosy. Uh, you, you also got uh, seven. Uh, seven trumpets were blown uh, to bring down the walls of Jericho. Completion. Okay, seven means completion. The reason why it doesn't mean rest is because if it means rest when God rested on the seventh day or rest when Naaman had rest over his leprosy, then when 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 Samson got seven locks of hair cut off of his head, he didn't go into rest. He went into straight bondage. So therefore, that's your proof that seven doesn't mean rest. OK, plus two numbers can't mean the same thing. So, for instance, right here in Esther, chapter nine, verse 18, bear with me. But the Jews who were at Shushan assembled together on the 13th day as well on the 14th day. And on the 15th day of the month, they rested and made it a day of feasting and gladness. Do you see, guys? Two numbers can't mean the same thing. So if, if, if Scripture says they rested on the 15th day, that means seven can't mean rest. You understand? So that's your proof through Scripture, through the true powers of the Holy Spirit that's showing you all these things. Okay, guys? So the truth of the matter is I don't have a lot of evidence for double digits like 15 uh, because I've gotten so caught up in learning one through five and things of that such that I have way more knowledge of those than I do memorize the 15s. Okay? But the truth of the matter is he gives us a parable throughout this life to show us the truth about everything. So when you go around a roundabout, it's 15 miles per hour. You get to rest around that roundabout. Get it? Okay, but here we're going to do a personal video for our new new subscriber, Doc Rivers, a good friend of mine. Uh, we just met him a couple weeks ago. However, I see him through the eyes of the spirit and the Lord gave him rest right here because we're going to go over this building and show you how Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever, how he never changes. Okay, he just changes the seasons because there's four seasons. Okay, so let's go in sequence. Two for division, double for your trouble, direction, and then 15 for rest. How you doing, ma'am? So here. Judas had to kiss Jesus to give us the blood and the spirit. You understand? Okay, God divided from the devil, PF, to give us Jesus and the spirit, Planet Fitness. You see how the PF comes first, division, and it's a roundabout. It's got a grinder, a gear, and a thumb. Okay, so that's division, double for your trouble, and also division, double for your trouble. Because it's abbreviations here, but it's Planet Fitness here. So that's division double for your trouble okay but here's direction you got the, the the gear planet fitness so that's direction to their business you see that okay so abraham saw where to sacrifice isaac on the day justin waddle saw where to go sacrifice his 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 time to 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 get in a hydrobed massage you see i wasn't built to work out by the way if you can't tell i'm a scrawny little dude <laughs> so this is not why i come here to rest okay they got a hydrobed massage chair here and that's what my rest is but for mr doc rivers who moved from little rock all the way to benton who had no idea but now has become peter jumping out of the boat and didn't focus on the storm god has clearly given him rest right here at planet fitness 1515 that's division double for his trouble, Doc Rivers. He just moved from Little Rock, division. Now he moved to Benton, double for his trouble. And now he's got a brand new job here at Planet Fitness, division at 1515, which is rest for him. See, guys, he never changes. God never changes. His word is so pure. His word is so beautiful. His word is so immaculate. The Holy Spirit is so beautiful. He never changes, man. Y'all, please jump on board. Subscribe at the bottom. Please comment. Please, in the name of Jesus, ask me for some numbers to learn. Show me that you're out there watching these videos and that your concern is about the true powers of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and God Almighty, who's, who's, who's delivered all these beautiful revelations to y'all. Please get out there and diligently search His beautiful Word, man. It's proof in there. Seven can't mean rest if 15 means rest. So guys, jump on board. The truth will set you free. I promise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs>